Yo, what's up guys? So I just want to make this video because you guys need to know this. They are removing these two seven stars, guys. They are still going to be in the game, but they're going to be no longer attainable. All right, so if you guys want to get this guy and this guy, it's your last chance. Now, usually most units, they'll come back in the banner. For example, you know, the special summons banner, they brought back Vegeta, they brought back Zoro. But if you guys haven't noticed, there's a few units that have never came back. All right, just like your fault, uh, my fault, um, ever, anyways. For example, guys, Naruto has never come back. Same with Sasuke. All right, same with Goldie Roger, etc. So, uh, yeah, so they are removing these two units. If you already have them, you don't, you'll stay in their inventory. But if you guys want to know when they're going to be removed, so make sure you guys max out your star pass um, uh, within 118 hours. So this is by the end of the week, guys, is what you have. For to end for the star pass now this is basically i think going to be the update time as well we got about 118 hours to go till the update time now i know a lot of you guys are wondering bruh how am i supposed to max this out in time well first up make sure you always do these three missions if you do these three missions it should get you five to ten tiers per day easily man easily and next up we have another thing as well you can do i'll show you guys my afk strategy real quick for max up the star pass before I do, make sure I smash the subscribe button. Let me know, should I make my co-unit Toru meta for grinding star pass? All right, because I know the other meta units for grinding star pass are no longer obtainable. For example, we have Super 71. So let me know if you guys want that. All right. All right, so you want to beat it on AFK, guys? This is going to get you like 30 levels per day easily. Now, the best unit to use for this is Super 71, but I know a lot of you guys do not have him. So you have two options. You can either choose... And try to come up with a macro strategy for um, uh, this one right here. Or you can do this right here, guys. I'm going to use Metal Cooler. All right. I know not everybody has Metal Cooler. But if you don't have Metal Cooler, you can use this guy right here. Guy. Oh, wait. Wh what is his name? Frick. Do they change his name? Oh, this guy right here. Oh, this guy right here. Toku. All right. You can use him. He works great. So we'll, we'll just use him. Um, but Metal Cooler also works um, this guy might work as well. Roy Honda, he could work. Honestly, any unit that is hybrid. You could probably, honestly, maybe even use the path. All right, honestly, you know what? Let's try it with the path. I think this might work. So we're going to bring the path with us and make sure we'll give him the path orb as well. So uh, let's go do this AFK strategy real quick. So go to Desert Island, number six, and then select. All right, here we go. Let's get it. All right, so for this one, I like to use Tiny Task. Or you can use GS Auto Clicker. All right, this right here, guys, GS Auto Clicker, or um, this right here, Tiny Task. Either of them work. So I'll use Tiny Task for this method. So I'll show you guys exactly what you need to record, but make sure you guys go to Preferences, Continuous Playback, Custom Speed, 5x. All right, here's the macro you want to do, guys. Step one, click Extreme. Step two, click here, click here, click here, and then click here, and then click here, and upgrade the speed. And then click here, upgrade, and then hit the replay button, which should show up right about here. And that should be your macro. So let's go test this macro real quick, guys. So uh, we're going to see if we need to place two, which sometimes we do. We're going to try it with one placement because that should also work because of his fast SPA. All right, so make sure you guys choose extreme mode because extreme mode gives you more EXP. So let's go test out this method real quick. And uh, if this, and uh, honestly, you could probably just try placing two as well. Upgrade here should be good to go, and you'll get another upgrade as well for the powerful twos. The only hard wave, guys, is when the airs come, and that's not for a while. So you really shouldn't have to worry too too much about that. And again, if you guys are really worried, just place two as part of your macro. All right, like you see this decelerate, yeah, you might want to start placing two on these waves. Yeah, so I definitely would place two just to be safe. All right, so we'll try that again with two. All right, so for this guy, you're going to want to place two because he's single target. So click here, click extreme, and then click him again and click here. And then make sure you guys up hit the upgrade button as well on both of them during your macro. All right, this is working perfectly. So you just want to upgrade both of them. All right, like this. And you should have no problems whatsoever. All right, you see how it's working great? All right, it's a little bit sketchy. So if you really, really have to, you can place down three, which um, uh, would work as well. So uh, we can test that method a little bit later, but that's also a valid method. All right, so you see if you place down three, it's gonna be a little bit harder, but it definitely still is going to be functional. So we'll test that method a little bit as well. Now the real thing is you wanna make sure at least one of them gets the Chewbacca finisher before the air units show up. Actually, let me check if air units even show up. 
We're on wave nine, no air units. I forget which wave it is. Um, let's check. All right, so I don't think there is air units, man. So we might actually have to re-switch up the strategy. All right, but this the path definitely works. There's a lot of units you can use for this. Now make sure you pick extreme mode. Otherwise, it's not going to be um, uh, as fast for leveling up your star pass. But uh, yeah, I'll show you guys some other units right after this. That should work great. Um, I just picked this guy because I know a lot of you guys will have him. So your macro just needs to literally do this, guys. Place three and then upgrade them all like this. You see? So the macro should just be clicking like this. Then click this. Click up here for the extreme mode. And click down here for the replay. And you should be pretty much good to go. So uh, yeah, I'll show you guys some other units you can use right now. All right, so a lot of other units you can use, guys, is Gun Girls are great units. Metal Cooler is an amazing unit. You could probably get away with Naruto, too. Obviously, Android. Fudron the Mystic might work. Give it a shot. Wait, no, never mind. He costs too much to place. He would kind of work as part of the strategy, but not the whole thing. Chainsaw Man is too expensive, unfortunately. Amelia might work. Uh, Toku, <laughs> the copyright name, definitely works. Goldie Roger works. Mushi should be fine. And, um, uh, yo, comment down below if any of the other units will work as well. And good luck grinding the Star Pass, guys. You have about 118 hours left.